Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of August 26th to September 1st, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Capricorn, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below. That will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Capricorn in regards to love for this week. Capricorn. What's the energy of Capricorn? Okay. All right, Capricorn, first card we have for you is the Nine of Swords. We also have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, Judgment, Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Strength card. Okay. Interesting. So somebody's stressed out here with the Nine of Swords. I want to know why. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. That's showing up here, Spirit. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. And why is the Seven of Swords here? So someone's being sneaky or deceptive. Tell me about the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords. The Four of Swords and the Magician. The Four of Swords and the Magician with the Six of Cups. Okay. So this is someone who, this is someone who has been hiding stuff from you. Keeping secrets or doing things behind your back that they know they shouldn't be doing. And they're worried because they feel like you're not giving them attention here with the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Sorry, Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Tell me about this spirit in Capricorn's energy. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. Why do I feel like this is self-love? I feel like you're practicing self-love this, this week. Or, I mean, doesn't mean you haven't been practicing self-love. It kind of looks like this week you're practicing it even more. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups with Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that. I feel like you are being very focused on yourself, focused on your own personal growth. For focused on your um, your work, your career, your finances, your goals. Um, you're just kind of loving yourself, to be honest with you. And you're not giving this person or this relationship any of your attention. And I feel like this person is stressed out because of that. Huh. Tell me about, uh, clarify the Seven of Swords, Spirit, please. We have the Emperor, the King of Wands, the Page of Swords. Knight of Wands. Tell me about Strength. Five of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. I feel like this person, you know, it's that, that's, I keep getting that though. I feel like this person has been doing things behind your back that they know they shouldn't be doing or they shouldn't have been doing. Hoping that you wouldn't find out or hoping that you would never, um, you would never figure it out. But you're not even focusing on them you're focusing on yourself um you're not making them your problem 
How does Capricorn feel about this person, Spirit, that's showing up here? What are Capricorn's feelings for them? Oh, okay. So we do have the Two of Cups. Okay. Tell me more about Capricorn's feelings for this person this week. Okay, so that we have the Three of Swords. So this is someone who you felt a very strong emotional connection with. But with the Three of Swords, it kind of looks like there was some sort of disappointment. This person made you, made you disappointed in them. Made you feel disappointed or let down. Tell me more about how Capricorn feels about this person here. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Here you are pushing them away or blocking them because they broke your heart or they betrayed you, they disappointed you, and now you're kind of isolating yourself, pushing them away and isolating yourself, and they don't like it. But the thing is that they don't like it, but they have the Seven of Swords, which is telling me that they were definitely giving you reasons to... to be upset with them or to feel disappointed in them they were giving you they were giving you reasons or they gave you a reason because they were being very um deceptive here they were lying to you about something thinking you would never find out, but it, it kind of looks like you did find out. And now you're blocking them as a result. Okay, let's go to the other side of the reading now and look at your person's um, energy for the week towards you. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Capricorn, please, for this week? Let's get one shuffle. Hmm. All right, so looking at this person's energy towards you, um, Capricorn, first card we have here is the Hangman. Could be a Pisces. We also have the Emperor. We also have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. High Priestess, Knight of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Okay. Huh. High Priestess. So they are pretty sad here. Five of Cups and the Six of Cups. This person does feel pretty sad and depressed um, and upset that they are emotionally at a distance from you or that you have emotionally distanced yourself from them. That definitely has them feeling really wounded. I feel like this person um, is in this energy of waiting for you, waiting to hear from you, waiting to receive messages from you. It's like they want to take action toward you. They want to try to like recover their relationship with you, but instead they're holding back, waiting for you to message them or waiting for you to reach out to them. Tell me about this Emperor energy spirit with the hangman. Ooh, we have the strength card and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, waiting for you and the five of pentacles. Yeah, there's an energy of them feeling like, feeling like they should just wait for you. Wait to hear from you. Receive messages from you. They feel like it would be better because they feel like if they were to reach out, they might provoke even more drama between the two of you or even more conflict between the two of you. Um, they feel like you potentially don't even want to see them right now or hear from them right now. So they, they don't 
think it's a good idea for them to take action towards you, even though they really want to. Um, so they're just kind of patiently waiting for for you to resurface. They're hoping that you resurface. Tell me about the Knight of Swords to the High Priestess. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So this person feels like it's only a matter of time for you and them to get back together. They feel pretty confident that you are their soulmate and and they are your soulmate. They feel pretty confident that you two are meant to be together, that you two are like the uh, you two are the sorry, you two are divine counterparts or like you're divinely meant to be in a relationship with each other. I don't know where they're getting that from, but I don't know if that's true or not, but that's how, that's what they think. They feel like you two have a destiny to be together. You two are destined to be together. So, you know, they feel pretty confident that, you know, sooner or later, um, things will get fixed between the two of you. So they're kind of just trying to be patient here with the Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to you. They're holding on to their feelings for you, and they're patiently waiting for things to um turn around in this relationship in a in their favor or just in a positive direction because right now it looks like there's a massive separation and disconnect okay so that's what i have for you capricorn i'm going to stop the reading here and i'm going to continue now in the extended in the extended reading i will be taking a deeper look at your person i'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you what are their true and real intentions with you for this week what actions will they take towards you moving forward and what will the overall outcome be for this relationship if you're interested you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you in my next video bye guys take care care.